What is up you guys? This is Gasson and we're back for the next installment of our top five series. So if you remember, last time we had a million each was the standard and it's gonna continue this series. Only a million each submissions will be shown in this top five. Thank you guys for submitting. This is my honorable mentions where if you had pictures or you didn't quite get all the loot or maybe just not enough, this is where you will go. I'll give you a shout out. Be sure you guys, if you get a lot of loot, make sure you record it, send it to me and I'll post it for you. But again, big shout out to everybody that is participating in this. I have so many submissions and I just can't get to them all. So you guys, there's going to be a few top five raids coming out this week. Of course, it is my birthday. So thank you very much for all the support, all the monies that you guys are submitting to me and everything that you guys are doing. I love all you guys. So let's have a good 2015 this time and let's get right into our top five coming up. Okay, coming in at number five is As The Organic, and he's from Raging Atheist. Now, I don't know if you joined by accident because this attack you got going on is really godly. You have barbs and arches with lightning spells, no heroes against a Town Hall 9. So this is incredible. I love to see stuff like this. No, this might have made it onto my number one, but the loot wasn't high enough. Regardless, thank you for your submission. Coming in at number four is Savino from Deliberate Fury. Now, what I really like about this is he has goblins on his team. Everybody just keeps neglecting these guys, but I love them so much. They are the ones that's gonna go for the loot. They don't care if they get hit by motor shots, archer towers, they just keep going until they get all of it. Block the weapons with your face. They're going around and they're gonna take everything that they can while the heroes go and clean up all these weapons. I really like seeing these uh, types of raids where they're using low tier troop compositions to get high loot victories. So the goblins are working their way to get to the last of the storages there. Now after the storages are gone, of course they're gonna try and attack the weapons and they do really good damage against weapons. They are such good attackers once the loot's gone. So all that's left is to get to this town hall. Now he couldn't get to the cannons because they're walled up, but that's okay. He's getting every penny and the two star for a number four spot. Coming in at number three, it's hashtag boss. And you have to be the boss if you're using barbs and arches like this. Against a town hall 10, my goodness. He's going in and this is way over a million that is offered him. Now, the walls are a little premature, of course, but even then, he doesn't have wall breakers. He just has heal spells and tier one troops, and he's only got one hero with him. He doesn't have his queen. So either he's trying to be the boss on this attack or he's just being very bold. So I really thought this is a true farmer right here where he's using low tier troops again to get high loot from these town hall tens that are just so low. They're just trying to stock up and maybe they forgot to put a shield on or something but they left all the money outside for these farmers to get to it and he got it going around to get the builder hut for the three star he's gotten all the loot and with this boss raid thank you so much for your submission coming in at number two it's valley four from 300 farm <laughs> so i don't know if it's just me but i get a lot of balloonian teams that are attacking in the high cut range now these guys are just so strong it's no wonder that we got a buff to the archer tower so that they shoot faster these this team is just overwhelming everyone and they're doing it again with this attack right here this man is trying to throw all of his loot inside the middle to protect himself someone inside the town hall screaming no but the minions don't care they're gonna keep going take out the town hall and get to the rest of this loot he wants all of it or nothing at all no, actually, he wants all of it. So he's going to take it, cleaning up for that double star. That My gosh, that's a lot of loot. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, you guys, coming in at number one, it is a man that is the most generous person in Clash of Clans. If you ever meet him, this guy has thrown everything outside for an attacker to take it. It must be because the Christmas is just gone. He's still in the spirit. 
he's gonna put it all out there for him and he's gonna watch the defense record it and send it in so that we can see just exactly how much how generous this man is now they're gonna go for the town hall and then they're going for the loot cups over loot is what the motto is up here in the uh, top champion players <laughs> so you guys let's go ahead and watch this there's a moment of silence that we're gonna give to this generous attack All right, you guys, that's my number one spot. Thank you for watching. This is Godson. Make sure you submit your clips, and I will see you next time. Godson out.